Hello everyone. I'm about to upgrade the gears on my scrapper soon, so I won't be doing any night fox yo afterwards. But I wanted to show you this build while it still exists. Since I knew I will be spending a lot of time on night fox yo while I am leveling my roster, I thought I want to have some fun with it and make a build for it. Yoho is a fairly easy boss, but that's not gonna stop me from optimizing, obviously. I got some really good results, and the build was also very fun to play. You won't find this build in any meta guide. I go against the tide in many many aspects, and use engravings that are not popular at all. While most people simply want to do the most damage, my goal here was to do the most stagger while also doing the most damage. I took it up one notch. The two goals of this build is to repeatedly stagger Yoho, keep it pinned down in the last phase while also getting some sick damage in. I also use the trophy in potions because it's super fun. I recommend using it to everyone. Before I show you the build, I'll show you the concept first because you probably shouldn't blindly copy this build without knowing how it works. What you see here now is the uncut version of the last phase, that is where we do the bulk of our job. Uh, staggers and uh, tail weak point mechanics only start here at the end bit. First off, I do as much stagger as humanly possible while keeping either chain destruction fist or death rattle available at all times, then use that skill and charging blow to destroy the tail. After that, I'm popping my Edrophin potion and hit the Awakening skill for 20 mil plus crits. I keep dishing out stagger like crazy, using the attack speed of the Edrophin potion and the Rage Rune, because weirdly enough, Yoho is already vulnerable to stagger while being staggered, so it is back on the ground again and never to wake up anymore. Let's head to Trixtel now so I can show you the build. I have 1.1k specialization, 740 swiftness, and none of the rest. I use vital point hit to do a lot more stagger damage, and also uh, broken bone to deal a lot more actual damage while Yoho is staggered. Uh, I use shock training obviously as the class engraving, and uh, I use adrenaline because since I don't have any crit, uh, this is uh, the best DPS engraving there is, given that I don't have any crit. Uh, if I had more crit, then Grudge would be better, but I, if you can keep it up and you have no innate crit rate, then this is the best. The only sources I have crit from is the innate 1% from the stats. Uh, I have the Lost Wind Cliff card set, and uh, back attacks also give me 10% more crit chance. Technically speaking, the Argos set also gives crit chance a lot of it, and that makes adrenaline inefficient. But yeah, this is what I had on my other build, and I wanted to go budget, so I kept adrenaline. I also have a level 1 Ambush Master, because during stagger, back attacks is a given, so that's a very convenient way to use it. And I could get it because the legendary engravings for both Broken Bone and Vital Point Hit are extremely cheap. They are even cheaper now, actually. Uh, if I recall correctly, I got them for 500 gold on the Broken Bone and 2k for the Vital Point Hit. And with this, I can simply use a 6-5 stone to get all of these engravings. I have three accessories with adrenaline, one with vital pointed and one with broken bone. Actually, this build would work better if I had more domination instead of specialization and if I had disrespect instead of uh, ambush master. But I was lazy to get the disrespect stone because I already had the ambush master one and no one is selling broken bone accessories at all, especially not with domination. With those I could hit over 30 mil uh, easily, but I, I don't know, I need to get lucky on Abyssal Dungeons to get those rings. I cannot buy them at all. The gems are fairly standard, I use double gems on all the green skills 
and uh, I picked two yellow skills with cooldown gems. I don't use uh, the cooldown gem on Roundup Sweep uh, for a good reason, because it resets its own cooldown anyways when you use it. Uh, you can use it repeatedly, typically, and there's a low chance of going on cooldown. One extra tip for you, if you want to spam the same skill multiple times, you should always move between them. This is the quickest I can spam without moving, and this is how I can spam with moving and cancelling the animation. As for tripods, there's only one really untypical choice that I have, which is Spider's Dignity. It's a very underused tripod, because if you look at the actual thing it says, one of them gives 54% damage, the other gives me 78% more damage. So obviously everyone uses the spinless hit. That's like not even a question, there's nothing seemingly good in Fighter's Dignity. However, if you actually take the time to test it, uh, this is how I always test. I have vital point and uh, maximum expertise, and I check how many hits does it take to fully stagger a boss. This is the first hit uh, in. I need to set the cooldowns down. Okay. This is the second. This is the third hit. And let's do three. We can call this three and a half. It all already broke earlier. And if we summon another and do the spinless hit, this is one hit. This is the second, three, four, and there's, it's gonna stagger this time. So we can say this is four and a half, let's say. And even that four and a half over three and a half as a ratio is over 30%. Part of the reason why I wanted to make a stagger build for Yoho is because people are awful at dodging the tornadoes. So if I can keep her staggered, then uh, I don't have to break them free. Without going too much into detail, uh, I look through all the many tripods that I, these skills use, even the taijutsu skills I look through, and I chose the ones that fits this need the best, which is to continuously stagger Yoho over and over again in, in order to skip the tornadoes and dish out some damage. This is also the reason why I have swiftness instead of crit or uh, expertise. The fact that Crit only gives me damage, while Expertise only gives me Stagger. Swiftness achieves both at the same time. The only downside of Shock Scrapper with Swiftness is that uh, you actually have to be good with it, because you have to balance your Shock and Stamina meters very well in order to always be able to cast skills at such a fast pace. There is one more thing I want to talk about, which is why Stagger is worth actual damage on Yoho. So, in the last phase, Yoho takes half damage until the first Stagger break. In an alternative view, you could think of this as if the damage reduction is something which increases Yoho's health pool. If you break the Stagger quicker, the less extra health Yoho got. Imagine two scenarios, one with my high Stagger Scrapper, and one with a low stagger team. In my team, Yoho stagger breaks around 20% health remaining. In the low stagger team, it breaks around 10% health. So, this is the same as if my Yoho had 110% uh, overall health pool, while the other team fought Yoho with 120% health. Now, what do you call it when you remove health from a guardian? That's damage and you do this damage by dealing stagger. This damage won't show up in the MVP screen at all, because it benefits all characters equally, even if they hadn't dealt all the stagger damage. But this damage definitely shows up in the completion times. I didn't average all my completion times, but I feel like on average I have one minute quicker Yoho runs on this character than on my Deathblade. 
I will quickly run you through my tripod choices in case you want to try this. I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching.